Hey guys, it's Jody. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be planning in my 1407 inserts for my B6 planner. And we're going to be using the Vintage Romance Kit from the Prairie Planner. It is so pretty. I love the colors and the boxes are just stunning with the florals and, and this double scene box is just so pretty. I can't wait to see what it looks like. It's a big kit and with this planner, I only really have five columns that um, I put stickers on. I don't put one on Sunday because the washi will come across and the box is smaller. So I'm going to use the rest of it in my PP weeks. So I'm going to be using these six boxes here and these three in my PP weeks later. So this is the kit, uh, full boxes and your a half quarter boxes, um, labels, your bottom washi, some washi strips, some checklists, your sidebar stuff, some icons, weekend banner, date covers, sidebar stuff, and then there's these headers, glitter headers. I've used one set already in a previous plan with me. I'm going to use the blue and this kind of reddish pink color. I'm going to save the purple for my PP weeks. So let's go in and get started. I'm probably going to start with the bottom washi. And I'm also going to white out the dates because they'll show through the headers, the date covers, excuse me, not headers. So I hope your week is going well. Today is Tuesday. I'm uh, running behind on my planning, so we're in Tuesday. And uh, oh, maybe I'll go white, white out the bottom too. It's a gorgeous day here. Another 32 degrees weather, which and I'm in Canada, so 32 degrees is hot. Hot, hot, hot. I think it's 37 with the humidity, so it's a scorcher again today. Thank goodness for air conditioning. Or I don't know what we would do. Okay, I just make sure you're in screen still. Um, so let's get this laid out. I always manage to get this crooked at the bottom. So I thought I'd do something fun today. Everybody seems to be answering questions in their videos lately. And I thought, what a neat idea, because I always run out of things to say. And so I thought I would do a this or that question, uh, question and answer. I think that would be fun. And uh, you get to know me a little bit more. Everybody seems to be doing them. Um, so the first one is staying in or going out. Staying in. I am an introvert, so I'm a stay home person. I prefer to be in the house, at home. Even if I'm entertaining, I feel like I should be doing it at home. I uh, don't like large crowds. And so that's basically it. I just prefer, I always have, even since a kid, I've preferred to be in the house and at home, I have a select few group of friends, so if I get together with them, it's usually a small, small gathering. But yeah, definitely in the house, staying home. Um, coffee or tea? I love my coffee, and I have several cups a day. And um, I've loved coffee since I was a kid. I probably shouldn't have had it that young. I can remember being at my brother's hockey game and the arena, and I don't know if you know Canadian winters are pretty darn cold. The arena was um, an outside arena with a cover over the top. So there was a little bit of a covering, but it was cold. And I went into the one room, which was, um, I guess, the caretaker's room, and he had a pot of coffee on. So I took a, pot of, a cup of coffee, a snuck one, and I had it, and I loved it from that moment. And I prefer it black, unless I go to Starbucks and get a pumpkin spice latte or a caramel macchiato. But um, the rest of the time I drink it black. And I recently saw a story on Instagram from one of my friends up north in, in Canada, and she had a pumpkin spice latte today. So, oh my goodness, they're back. I'm so excited. <laughs> they're like my favorite ever. And then the next question is, Android or iPhone? I'm an iPhone girl. 
I have since they very first came out. Um, I don't think I'll ever go to an Android. I prefer an iPhone. My husband has an iPhone as well. We both have Mac computers, so definitely iOS and iPhone. Um, like I said, we won't change. We, we will likely have them for as long as we have cell phones. I'm due to upgrade one, which is really nice. Kidget, that's my dog barking at the people across the street. She's in the room with me while I'm playing. And she uh, doesn't like people. If she sees people or another dog, all bets are off. She will bark and generally doesn't stop. So this is good that she actually stopped this time. Uh, silver or gold? That depends on the season, really. In the summer, I generally wear silver, and in the fall and winter, I usually switch to gold. Um, although my ring is white gold. It, actually, most of my rings are white gold, unless I've inherited them from my grandmother, and then they're yellow gold. Um, so definitely silver, I guess, for that. And shop online or in store? Hmm. This goes back to the whole introvert thing. I don't like big crowds. And so Christmas time, I generally, unless I go at an odd time of the day, I would shop online. That would be my go-to thing is to shop online. It's so convenient. And I know there's a controversy that, you know, you really shouldn't shop online because people are losing their jobs. But I, I don't live in the city. It's 45 minutes to get there. So it's a, a big undertaking to get just shopping to the location. And then, you know, you spend your day shopping and it's another 45 minutes home. So it's a long day. And so I prefer to stick around the house and uh, do my shopping from home, do it online. The delivery guy knows me personally. <laughs> he knows my name. Um, so that's funny. Um, reading by book or an audio book. Uh, a book in my hands. I love the smell of books. I love the feel of books. Um, I just can't get into reading online um, in an e-reader. Just to me, that's not reading. Um, I know a lot of people have switched, but for me, it's just not, it's not something that I, I would do. I, I tried it, and I don't like it. Um, so I'm just going to stick to my reading in my books, going to the library, with this COVID, it's been hard getting library books, so I've been uh, waiting and waiting and waiting for them to reopen, and so they finally did um, outside pickups. So you order the book online, and they pull it for you, and then you just go pick it up when they call you and tell you it's ready, and then you return it in the slot. So that worked well. I went yesterday and picked up two books. They're from a series by from... Charlene Harris and it's a fun series about this little town in Texas called Midnight and everybody has these weird powers and stuff like that. It's a fun read, fast read. I started reading one yesterday and I'm halfway through so it's, it's a quick read, it's a fun read. I recommend her books. I haven't read any of her older stuff. I guess she used to write romance initially and then she switched to um, mysteries and, and crime thrillers. So, wow, that is so crooked. It's the header that's crooked, I think. This paper is really nice. It uh, comes up um, normally with this 1407 inserts. It's a hard time lifting stickers, so I'm very surprised that they're coming up today. So, bath or shower? I am not a bath girl. I am a shower girl. Um, I just don't like the idea of sitting in a bathtub with with when you've got washing dirt off of you. It's just not <laughs> relaxing to me. I can't sit in a tub that long. I, I get bored. So I'm not a bubble bath person. I just, uh, yeah, I prefer a shower. Nice quick shower. In and out. No waste of time. Get done what you got to get in there for, to do. So yeah, I'm not a bubble bath girl. My husband likes baths, which is odd. You would think that I would be the one that likes them and not him, but I'm the one that doesn't like, that doesn't like them. So, um, sunrise or sunset? Um, I'm going to say sunset. 
Um, I generally I'm not awake to see the sunrise. I am retired, so I don't have to get up early to go to work. So I'm generally sweet sleeping in unless my dog wakes me up kissing my face, which she does most mornings. But she generally sleeps till about 8 or 8.30, so I usually don't get up that early, which is nice. Some, pe some people say their dogs get them up at like 5.30 in the morning, and thank God she's not one of those ones. Ugh, I wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> introvert, extrovert, I kind of added answered this already. I am an introvert, have been since I was a kid. I prefer to be home. I'm just going to put my checklist down. This is my PR planner, PR and social media planner. So generally it's checklists um, and a few boxes, whatnot. I track what shops I'm posting for. Get that line down. Okay. I'm going to have to trim Wednesday and Thursday. So let's put Friday in. And I didn't pull scissors out, and my planner box is way over there. So I'm going to I'm gonna cut this at three. Four, excuse me. I can't count. So I'll cut the checklist at four. Put that down. And I'll do the same on the other one. So the next question is colors or neutrals? I'm going to say neutrals. Um, I do like a nice robin's egg blue and a coral, but I generally only wear those in the summer. Um, so most of the time I'm in neutrals, soft pinks, um, tans, gray, that kind of color. Um, so I have to say, so, uh, I have to say neutrals, um, drives my husband nuts. He would rather, I, I probably wasn't even in folk in the screen then. Hopefully that's better. Um, drives my husband nuts. He prefers me in colors. Um, <laughs> but I'm the one that's wearing them. So, um, so Monday, um, I did some work for my sale club, PGU, PGU sales, so I'm going to put this down. Um, and I did a bunch of PR posts, so I'll mark that. Um, today, I created um, a photo book for my husband. Um, I got a book. It's his birthday coming up. And so he's a photographer and he shoots the most amazing wildlife photos. So I thought that I would create a photo book for him for his birthday. And God, I hope he's not watching this <laughs> because if he is, I just got caught. Um, so I created a photo book for his birthday and I think he'll really like it. So I finished that up today. Uh, there's no book. Oh, there's a book. Duh. Right in front of my eyes. So I'm going to put the photo book down and now I'm filming and uploading. So let me see, I take a box and um, let's put a patterned one down. Oh my God, I dropped it and she's chewing on my stickers. <laughs> Little brat. Um, as we upload and film. These are from Prairie Planner. She did a custom for me. Um, I'm not sure if she has them in the shop now, but she, uh, she did these for me a while back. I should probably order some more. They're cut perfectly. This is me just struggling to get them off the page. So film. And upload. Tomorrow, um, I want to announce the shops for the PGU, and let's see if I can get these off the page. There's a couple of them that are stuck. Uh, okay. 
I'm going to use the ones that I already used from Little Annabelle's Plans. So I'll put that down right there. So I want to get those posts done. And that's it for Wednesday. Thursday is our laundry or grocery day and payday. I don't think I have a payday sticker with me. So this is grocery day. I'm going to layer this on top of one of these um, layering pieces from Pink Polka Dot Lily. I really need to get more of them. <laughs> I'm out. And the Canada Post or the Postal Service right now is taking forever to deliver stuff. So it's going to be a while to get them. I'm going to be out of them before then. This trash day is from Grace. Graceful Muse Papery. I'm going to put that in on Friday because it is my trash day. And like I said, the rest will be filled in with um, stuff from my shops. I need to pay bills on Friday. So I want to put that in the top of this planner. To remember to do that, I get paid Thursday, so I want to pay bills on Friday. And I think that is it so far. I don't have anything to put on Sunday at this point. So this is it, short and sweet. My plan with me is done. My questions are all answered. I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit about me. Um, thank you for visiting. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, please check back and um, see my further videos. So subscribe and like this uh, video if you did like it. And uh, that's it for today. Have a great day. Bye now.